Friends, today I am going to explain a recently released British horror thriller film that is quite different. So at the beginning of the movie Cheryl Blake, a black woman, is living in an undisclosed location in England. She expresses concerns about discrimination and financial difficulties to her sister on the phone. She had done a great job in her career but still, she did not grow. She also has children and a husband who is very abusive. He keeps troubling her. The subsequent scenes show her rejecting phone calls from her spouse and leaving a message on the fridge about going to the hair salon. Several years later, we are introduced to Neve, a fair-skinned black woman married to Ian, a white man, with two biracial children, Sebastian and Mary. Cheryl had transformed herself into Neve. She keeps her hair hidden which is part of her native identity. Her skin tone has now become lighter than before. She plans to host a fundraising gala at her home. One day a black man keeps an eye on her when she goes to meet her friend in the cafe, which she notices. Then that black person appears to her on the way as well. Because of this, she gets very upset. She comes to her house at night, and here we learn more about Neve. She is contemptuous of anything associated with blackness. She pays a lot of attention to her daughter Mary's hair so that she doesn't look like a native black woman. Everyone is having dinner, and we see the whole family together. Ian has a shop and Neve works at her kid's school as a deputy headmistress. Neve always keeps her hair hidden and uses a wig. She was doing some work before sleeping when a parcel comes to the house. It has magnets inside, which she used while leaving a message on the fridge to her former husband. Now her old life is going to interfere with her new life. The next day she goes to drop the children to school. She sees on her side mirror two children made of black color. There is some unknown person who is following her and making her remember all these memories back. When she goes to school, a black person who is probably a new recruit in the school is talking to Sebastian. Neve keeps the family away from black people, so she gets very upset by this thing. Later, she is preparing children singing for the fundraising gala. She sees that Sebastian is going outside the school. When she goes after him, he is smoking there alone. But Neve feels that someone will be with him who must have given him this smoke. But Sebastian refuses, saying that he brought it himself and is alone. But Neve does not believe his words and gets very angry at him. She is taking Mary home from school. Sebastian has a basketball match, so he has stayed back at school. While driving, Neve's hair starts to itch. Some black girl also appears on the way, which disturbs her. She is getting visions of her young age even in the car mirror. She gets scared and she is about to have an accident. At home, she is talking with Ian and her friends. Only then did she glimpse the same black boy outside the house. She had seen this boy as such a janitor in the school. She gets terrified. She feels that the boy is about to enter the house but then Mary enters through the door. Seeing her new hairstyle, she gets a bit tenser. It's late at night, but Sebastian hasn't come home yet. They start worrying about him. Meanwhile, Sebastian comes back home. Neve is so angry that she starts thrashing him and Ian stops her. When she gets down because of thirst, suddenly the house starts cracking and she hears some sound. She gets visions of the birthday of a girl child. Perhaps she will be her daughter, of whom she is terrified. Only then she wakes up as if it was a nightmare. The next day she goes to complain about that janitor to the manager. Because he must have given cigarettes to Sebastian and strict action should be taken against him. But the manager explains to her that it will be discrimination and he will talk to him. The next day when students rehearse a song at school then the fire alarm goes on in the washroom. Which was turned on by cigarette smoke itself. Sebastian is also seen running from the washroom. When Neve goes to check she finds the janitor there. He is angry with her that she wants to get him fired. He says she completely erased him and Dion from her life. She thought they were dead. Neve leaves from there saying that it was not her. At the fundraising gala, she greets everyone there. Neve confronts two black individuals that she believes to be strangers. They address her as their mother. Due to this she and her family get shocked. Flashbacks to five days prior, with Carl and Dion being the focus of the story, the two black individuals Neve has been seeing. The two are on an unknown mission that involves staying at a hotel, with Carl taking on the name Marvin and getting a job as a school janitor while Dion takes the name Abigail to work as an assistant in Ian's office. They befriend Neve's children, 
with Dion inviting Mary to the hotel room for drinking and partying, while Carl invites Sebastian to smoke after his basketball game. Afterward, Carl convinces Sebastian to brutally attack his school bully. It is revealed that Neve is Cheryl, and Carl and Dion are her children. Carl looks at old pictures in which Cheryl used to live with them. She loved both children very much, but her husband was abusive, which was told to us in the beginning. When things got a little out of whack, Cheryl ran away from home, leaving her kids behind. Carl and Dion are furious at their mother. Carl tells that his mother is leading a good life. She is now with her new family, so they should return. But Dion says she has an invitation to a fundraising gala, so they should go at least once. They reach there, after which the story comes to the present. Dion lashes out at Neve in front of everyone. Meanwhile, Neve is at home with her family and they too are quite shocked. They are angry with her as to why she hid it. She tells her past that this was her compulsion. Her husband was a bad person and she had to escape from him anyway, so she left everything and came here. She asks Ian if I had told you about these black children, would you have accepted them? She says I will fix everything. The next day she meets them at a diner, talks to them, and apologizes for her actions. She didn't want to leave them like that, so she left them in the care of their aunt. He says that his aunt left them in a few days. She also did not want us. Dion asks can we stay with you? Neve gives them 10,000 pounds each, in order to help them back on their feet as they return to London. Until things get sorted out. They agree and are a bit happy that their mother is about to accept them. At night Neve comes home and talks to her family, and says that she has put things right. But she does not tell about giving money. Carl and Dion are now going back to London. They talk about restarting again so that differences do not come between them. But Ian and both the kids have no problem with them. They even talk about supporting them. One thing we can understand about Neve is that the ability to withstand stress is very less. She is not able to handle even a little bit of pressure and tension at all. So this movie belongs to the horror thriller category but not for us but for Neve, and for people like her whose courage is weaker than glass. As a human beings, we have always been taught to fight and face difficulties. According to the story, the first trouble came in front of Neve, from which she ran away. Then she did not think about her children at all. If she wanted, she could have taken her children along with her. By working hard, she could raise them. But she didn't do that and if she did, things would have been different today. Now she is in trouble again so what will she do now? We will know this later. However, Carl and Dion break into Neve's house. Carl takes everyone's phones and dumps them in the sink, where he turns on the water that starts to overflow the living room. They claim it's Dion's birthday and they should celebrate as a family. All those people are very scared of them. They ask to order food as per their choice. But it is closed so they order from Uber Eats. They are talking to everyone and they are scared of them. Neve tries to stop them but they don't listen. Carl also attacks Ian, due to which he gets a little hurt. Carl tells everyone to sing birthday song and everyone does the same. Neve's family learns that she offered money to Carl and Dion so that they would leave forever. This leads to Ian threatening a divorce, however, Dion intervenes and suggests playing a board game. Neve, who is visibly upset, vomits, afterward appears to adopt a new and happy persona, and the group begins to play Scrabble. Neve accepts the situation and deals with it smartly. She plays games, talks to everyone, and tries to shift the atmosphere to the light side out of fear. Carl is furious so he takes Ian to the gym room and makes him lift weights which he is not even able to lift. Everyone is sitting in the hall of fear and there is water everywhere. This is so that no one can run anywhere quickly. Then the food delivery boy reaches there and Neve goes to take the delivery. She asks the boy to stay so that she can give him a tip. Perhaps she will ask him for help or will call for help. Then she goes to her room to get money. There, Carl coerces Ian to lift increasingly heavy weights until he is unable to hold them and the weight falls on him resulting in his apparent death. When she comes downstairs, she finds Ian dead. She apologizes to them and manages herself. But what will she do now? How will she fight this situation? How will she save her children from the past? How will she save that family who was engaged in supporting her in every situation? The answer is she will do nothing again. Neve tells the group she'll tip the driver and be right back. She doesn't return. The driver's engine starts up and drives away implying that Neve has left with him. 
and is about to start her new life by running away again. Mary and Sebastian are left standing in the flooded living room with Dion and Carl, as Neve has now abandoned her second set of children. She only cares about herself and not about anyone else whether it is her children, her husband, or anything. Basically, this had become her nature. Now whenever these four children find her, they will teach her a lesson because they will take revenge on her. With this, this movie ends here. This is a different type of horror thriller movie. Neve may run anywhere but she can never live in peace. Because whatever she had done in her past will always come back to haunt her. And in this sense, the movie is immensely horror and thriller. Started the first family, left them, and ran away. When she started the second one, there was a situation, then she ran away. Now she will start again and run away again. That is, she does not want any tension or stress in her life. So if you liked the video then please subscribe if you are new to the channel. Thanks for watching.